Welcome to Answer Land, the Chubster Reader Q&A series. This week, it's a grab bag. That means we're going to answer a number of questions, kind of quick fire style. So let's get right into it. Chris asks, how do you know if a vest fits you well? Should it be tight or slightly loose? Well, Chris, the answer is kind of in the middle. You don't want it to be too tight and cutting off circulation, but you don't want it to be loose and flowy. And another thing that you want to keep in mind is the shirt that is underneath your vest is really important. You want to make sure that the fit is good, make sure that it isn't flowing off you because then it's going to billow out on the bottom. You want to make sure that it's not too tight because that hurts. But if you have it just right and you have a form fitting vest, then you're going to be good to go. It's important to think with the vest that you want it to lay down on you flat. It doesn't need to ruffle up. You also need to be able to move your arms around because if you're stuck, you know how it feels to be contained in something that doesn't fit you well. That's not what we're going for here. Make sure that your vest fits you well, make sure that your undershirt fits you well, and you'll be good to go. Don't be afraid of having something that's a little more form fitting. Now I'm not saying tight, just form fitting. You get that and you're gonna be good to go. Tucker asks, what bed do you recommend for bigger people? Well, Tucker, there are two beds that I recommend you take a look at if you're a bigger person. The first one is Big Fig. Now, Big Fig mattress has been around for a number of years. I sleep on a Big Fig bed and I love it. It is the first bed that I've had in years that actually makes me feel like a little kid. I don't sink into it. I'm not destroying the bed by laying on it repeatedly. It is made to hold bigger people. This is a bed you can actually jump on and I have jumped on it and we'll have to link to that so that you can see me jumping up and down on this bed like a little kid. It's great. Having furniture that actually holds you and doesn't feel like it's going to break under your weight is a crazy thing. Big Fig specifically made these beds to hold bigger people. They went through a lot of testing. They did a lot to make sure that it will definitely work for you. Now, it is also a bit more of a firm kind of bed. So if you are used to something that you sink into, it may not be exactly what you're looking for, but I would recommend that you take a look, maybe give it a try. You can always send it back. They've got a whole thing with that where you can do that if you want to. I'm a big fan of the Big Fig and I would recommend it to just about anybody. That said, if you don't like the firmness and that's a deal breaker for you, take a look at the Nightfall from Helix. Now Helix Mattress makes a ton of different kinds of mattresses for different people with different needs. The Nightfall is their big and tall mattress for plus size people. It is not as firm as the Big Fig, but if you want something you can sink into, it's gonna feel good. It's great for side sleepers, gives you a little more room to kind of get in there and sleep on your side and toss and turn, which I like a lot. That said, the bed is definitely going to hold you. It's made for bigger people. So I would check out those two mattresses and see which one works best for you. Steven says, my wife and I are expecting our first child and I'm having trouble finding a baby carrier that fits. Have you come across anything? Thanks for the question, Steven, and congratulations on the upcoming arrival. That's very cool and you wanna make sure that you have everything that you need. So making sure that you have the right carrier is very important. I would recommend you check out Kinder Pack which has a bunch of different kinds of carriers. And when you go through the process, you pick one that you like, as you're checking out, you can choose the extended straps that work for bigger people. You get that, you're good to go. So give that a try, let me know what you think, and uh, best of luck with all of that. Because I remember what it was like having my first kid. It's a whole lot of crazy. That does it for this episode of Answerland. If you have a question, ask us, we wanna hear it. Hit us up, at Chubster, on your favorite social network, we're everywhere. You can ask us your question there. If you want to ask us directly, you can also do it at chubster.com. Go to the contact form, send us your message. It might just end up as a question in a future episode. Until next time, see ya.